Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Zippy Engineering. Uh, today we're going to finish up the shifter, or the, sorry, the foot clutch for the shovel head. And then uh, we're going to kickstart this thing. <laughs> See how that goes. Last time didn't go too well. Uh, hyper extended my knee because the, the kicker actually slipped. Uh, so that hurt. Um, so we'll see how it goes this time. Hopefully uh, we have our tune a little bit better and we can actually get this thing to kick within the first few tries. But uh, until then, we're going to finish cutting out this uh, the shifter stuff. And then, uh, yeah, we'll put it all together. So this is our new mount plate. Uh, this is our old one here. This is uh, the one that I had to remake. Uh, this is the one we originally make, made, and uh, this top mount here, I had actually cut too much off. Uh, but yesterday, so these were our shafts here. Um, I cut a piece of eighth inch stainless, welded them onto the ends, and uh, machined it down. So now when this goes on the back side, we'll have a nice uh, kind of alley for the cable to run through. That way it won't be able to run off the left or the right. Uh, if you see here, here, I have this big circle. It matches the same size as this. So this will be on the other side of this. Uh, this will be our new mount. As you see, I countersunk the holes here for our mounting hardware. So it looks a lot cleaner and won't be sticking out. Uh, yeah, and then our uh, our shifter. All right, this is the other half of it. So that's the other shaft that holds the that the uh, the foot clutch. Why do I keep saying shifter? The actual foot clutch uh, mounts on. As you see, I did the same here. I uh, took this piece of eighth inch stainless and put a hole in the end of it, welded it onto that shaft, and then machined it down. So it's the same diameter as the uh, foot clutch so looks really sweet looks really smooth uh, once we get this mounted onto our new plate everything should look very nice and orderly and tidy uh, last night I had started cutting out the plate um, I got about halfway and then my blade snapped uh, the blade is is pretty old um, this stainless is pretty hard on it but as you see here I have a bunch of holes drilled in this plate uh, these are for the inner radiuses on this. You can see where I cut it here, and then I have this inner radius, and then I cut it through. Um, so it, it makes it a lot easier for me to cut it out because these are half inch holes. My blade is half inch, so I can rotate in here. Um, also, it gives me a lot nicer and cleaner radius here, and I don't have to do as much grinding and cleanup later. Um, so you can see I got some of them cut. I still got to cut this here. And then this back side, and then this piece will be free, and then we can start our cleanup. Um, so you can see down here where the foot clutch is going to mount. As as up here, I have this this outer circle diameter here that's going that matches with our foot clutch pedal. So um, this one's a little bit bigger, just to give it a little bit, um, you know, different contours, so it looks nicer. Uh, so should look pretty nice when we're all done. So. Uh, yeah, let's get to it.
Okay, so there's a rough cutout of our new mount. Uh, as you see, we have this, it looks like a lollipop pretty much up here. Uh, it's the same size as this guy. So this will come in from the back once we put it all together and it'll have a nice roller uh, avenue there for the roller or the cable to roll over. Uh, I'll keep everything nice, you know, and on the roller so that way it doesn't come off. Uh, not what we want. Uh, then up here we have this other rounded section for our shifter. Um, right there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and clean this thing up uh, and then get it on the bike. See how it looks. Stay tuned. So, as you see, this was our old one, and this is our new one. So, we got this guy all cleaned up. Uh, I took a 120 flap wheel to it, smoothed all those uh, marks out from the bandsaw, and then took a uh, scotch right to it, and then finally the wire wheel on my bench grinder. Uh, that way everything has the same finish, as you see, turned out pretty good uh, not not too bad uh, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble this make an assembly of it and put it on the bike go ahead and take everything apart here like I was showing you all earlier this is those shafts from the beginning uh, that I made the other day and then yesterday I put this end cap on here um, so that it slides right on here for the bushing all right so we go on here put this guy through here a little bit of a snug fit. Alright, there we go. And then we got our roller. It's got, a, uh, you know, an air raised area on each side so that um, our cable can't slide off. So, got a little orange Loctite here. We'll go ahead and Loctite this stuff. Get it on the bike once and for all, and uh, see how it does. But tighten that down, that ain't going anywhere. All right, see your roller still spins nice. Nice and even, no, it's very minimal side play, right? Just to give enough room to move and still be uh, plenty solid. So this is our other one, our other little shaft. Again, that plate that I welded and machined yesterday. Uh, we'll go ahead and stick that guy in here in our, uh, our clutch pedal. I love it when they snap together like that. All right, once again, more Loctite, all right. You just need a little dab. You don't, you don't need to drown it. All right. Moves nice. All right. Nice and firm. It's not flopping around. All right. That's gonna do. That's yeah, gonna do very well. All right. See on the back, that thing is nice, about the same size as our as our pedal there. So this will be our uh, our clutch pedal assembly. All right, so let's go put this on the bike.
All right, so there we have it. Everything's all put together. Everything has Loctite on it. Uh, I use the orange stuff. Uh, it's supposed to be as strong as red, but it's removable like blue. So we'll see what happens. Um, but as you see, pedal is nice, nice, comfortable position. It's very easy to push. All right, just enough to get this thing to release. All right, we'll. Uh, We'll see how it does when we actually get out there and ride it. So, uh, I've never ridden a uh, foot clutch jockey shift bike before, so uh, this will be interesting, to say the least. So, all right, let's see if uh, we can kick this thing over. Last time, I uh, the pedal slipped and it was a bad day. So, let's not let's not do that again. There we have it. I uh, started on second kick. It's never done that before. Uh, usually it takes uh, probably five or six kicks before, but last time I had it running, I uh, tuned the carb in better. So definitely seems to have helped. Um, but yeah, that uh, that was first ride. It's, uh, it's a bit sketchy. Uh, the front end's definitely tight. So um, yeah. Uh, I gotta see how much air we need to run in the front because it definitely feels sluggish. But um, yeah, now uh, now to wait to see what uh, oil leaks we're gonna have. Uh, it puked a bunch of oil there uh, at the beginning of uh, the breather, uh, and I shut it down because I'd never seen it before, do that before. Um, but like I said, it's only like the second time I've had it running, 
and uh, it was probably been a few weeks since I had it running last so I'm assuming it built a bunch of oil up into the into the crankcase so uh, but yeah we'll see uh, we'll see what shows up on our shop floor as far as oil spots but uh, yeah that does it for now stay tuned thanks for watching